What is up, YouTube? It is a tale as old as time itself. Not a lot of people know this, but the Greek Empire versus the Roman Empire War started on this very conflict, which is who wins more in poker? A red line non-showdown maniac or the blue line player who makes his money consistently tabling the best hand? So first we need to think about why might a player have a very high red or blue line? This comes down to a player's understanding of equity realization. The red line player is very efficient at identifying situations where his opponent is likely to overfold. This is going to be spots in the game tree where he thinks his opponents have weak capped ranges or simply will not call down often enough versus bets. Red line does not make a distinction if your opponent folds the second nuts or if he just folds eight high. A fold is a fold and the red line will go up. This is going to be a player who is range aware and will certainly make good use of over bets for added fold equity in spots he thinks his opponent will overfold. The better he is at this style, the spots, lines and opportunities, he is able to identify or create himself with range manipulation, the higher his win rate will be. Range manipulation in this context, meaning if he bets a size on the turn, that he knows villain is raising all two pair plus, and that villain overfolds the rivers with one pair holdings facing a 300% river overbet, his ability to create spots like this will drastically increase his win rate. Is an ineffective approach? Well, let's take a look here. We have my 510 heads up on PokerStar stats. This sample is from several years ago, and I'm not using this sample to say, hey, I'm crushing 510 heads up right now. The reason I want to show you this sample is I want to take a look at the win rate. We're winning at 10 BBs in EV for 187,000 hands. The full ring and six max is also heads up, as it's just me starting games, it's filtered to heads up only. This sample is also roughly 75% against regs. Now, let's take a look at this same sample, but in graph format. It shows I was crushing at 10 BBs while not even being a winning player at blue line. So what this means is, if you are very effective at identifying and creating these overfolds, you can 100% crush a game. For me, playing heads up would allow me to learn my opponent's strategies and thinking with high accuracies. For those games, I determined that the best way to beat the pool is with fire. I had and still have a systematic approach to figuring out how my opponents are thinking about poker and then poking and prodding at their ranges until I find holes, weaknesses, and imbalance in their game. Once I find those, I start attacking those weaknesses relentlessly until either they start protecting themselves in that spot, at which point I start the process again, looking for new spots, or until I win all the money. Next is my 6 max 500 zoom on stars stats where I was crushing at 5.5 BB in EV for 600k hands. I've shown this stat before. Let's take a look at these stats in graph format. What might be surprising to a lot of you guys is that I was losing red line while absolutely printing at blue line. Why would this be? Which will lead us into the definition of a blue line player. A lot of you guys think a blue line player is someone who just under bluffs and his red line tanks and his blue line slightly outpaces that losing red line and he wins 1.5 BB or whatever low win rate. I'm going to add a second distinction, which is a blue line crusher. This is a player who is just as skilled as a red line crusher. He just understands equity realization differently. He's good at value betting thinly, so he understands what his hand is worth in different spots. He's good at bluff catching. And then for me, two skills that make up a huge part of my blue line win rate is my ability to funnel players into a node of the game tree where their ranges are by nature very wide and weak. And I make sure to have my ranges protected in those spots to deal with the inevitable over bluffs from my opponent's weak ranges. The other skill which really helps my blue line win rate is having the ability to identify spots in the game tree where your opponent is underfolding slash overcalling and avoid bluffing in those spots and then finding very large value bets in those same spots. Going back to the original question of 
why would I be losing red line in the sample and crushing blue line? I still use my same systematic process to identify the holes and weaknesses in my opponent's games. But I found that many of these players were overcalling me and over bluffing me in many of the nodes that the pool would have very weak ranges that I would make sure to balance and have strength and ranges in. So I decided that in this game, water was the best approach to the highest win rate using fire to try to get them to fold parts of their ranges that they were unwilling to fold is not the answer. Instead, I used my other tools and strategies about equity realization and played the blue line crusher style. With all this information, which player should you strive to be? And the answer, of course, is both. If you truly want to be a top rank in your pool, you need to have both styles available to you to use at will when the situation or game demands it. Like Bruce Lee said, Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. In poker, this means you should not go into a session thinking, I'm going to be playing a crazy aggressive style today, or I am going to tighten up and just value bet today. You want the mentality of, I'm going to play my game and look to adjust my ranges based off of what my opponents are doing. This is my 100k hands challenge from PokerStars 200 Zoom last year. I did 10 BB and you can see a great win rate in both red and blue line. So what does this mean? It's showing I did a good job of identifying which player profiles I was up against in the hands and then over bluffing where it's appropriate while blue lining the non folders and over bluffers. Last year I did my first 15 video class series which got overwhelmingly incredible feedback. I've been getting messages nonstop asking for more and I also noticed I was receiving a lot of messages asking if I would do classes but on specific spots and nodes. My first round of classes had insight on every spot in the game tree as they came up during my play. These new round of classes are going to be boot camp style where each class has a specific premeditated topic and I do a deep dive offering you guys every tip, trick, play, exploit, creative line, range analysis, range construction, concept, and idea that I used to crush my latest sample at the 200s Russian cash on GG, where in the last couple of months, I managed to win at 8BB in EV after rake, for 160k hands. Picking and choosing my tools properly to crush both the red line and blue line, these classes will be jam-packed with useful win rate increasing ideas for both your red line and blue line. So no matter what style you play, there will be plenty of high EV concepts in there for you to learn. If you're a fan of how I understand and view poker and you enjoy my free YouTube videos, I would certainly recommend trying a class your win rate will thank you. Every episode will be using this recent 200s Russian Cash GG database, where I will teach you everything I know on how to crush the games for massive win rates. Here's a fun video for the details of the bootcamp course. For now, I will be selling these classes via Discord only, so shoot me a PM if you're interested. Summer is here for me, enjoy the sun. It's been a pleasure working with so many of you guys you guys have really reignited my love for poker and coaching has been really rewarding and I really enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys.